Dear students, in this module, we'll look at how the NJ algorithm works with the help of an example. As you would know, before to start with the NJ algorithm, you need to have a scoring matrix with you, which you will fill up during the process of the flow of the algorithm. Secondly, you need to initialize this matrix, the two diagonals, the diagonal and the lower uh, tridiagonal. And then you would want to have a scoring scheme that can help you to uh, cup, uh, score the cu uh, couple nucleotides as well as the four positions that are required by the scoring scheme. So let's take a look at how the scoring scheme actually works and how you fill up the matrix. So by looking at this matrix, you can actually observe that the RNA sequence has been placed on top as well as on the left side of the scoring matrix. Moreover, the coupling energy between G and C is assumed to be 3. The coupling energy between A and U is assumed to be 2 and between G and U to be 1. So we abstract the energy that is given out as a result of coupling of these nucleotides by 3, 2 and 1. Next, we initialize the diagonal of the matrix here as well as the lower diagonal given here and we start filling up with the first position in this case this one. So A and A would not be stacked so net score for this position will stay as 0 between A and U The score will be 2 as shown here and you continue on filling the next position U and C would not couple so therefore it's a 0 similarly U and C again and U and G would be 1 here in this case, we are only considering the energies that are resulting by the formation of the bond between these nucleotides as the lower diagonals are already set to zero. So in this case, A and U would give two. So the score is placed here. So as you can see, the marks in the blue are zero. However, the score 2 is in red. So obviously, the score 2 is bigger than the three neighboring zeros and therefore, we continue with the 2. As you will continue with the algorithm, you will see that certain positions will contain large scores and certain positions will contain smaller scores. Dear students, for calculating each position, you have to consider the maximum score that is coming from the left, bottom and the diagonal matrix. So these positions help you to determine the score in the new position which in this case is 1 and it is 1 because although the diagonal is 0 there is the score that comes from the coupling of G and U. In this way you can populate the entire matrix as I will just show you and you can fill it up to contain all the possible scores. In this case, I want to discuss one further example. As you know, there are four possible conditions, the left, the diagonal, the bottom, as well as the left row and the bottom column. So as you see, in this case, the score is 6, which is neither coming from this position, nor coming from this position, and neither is G and G coupled to give you 2 plus something equals to 6. So this is also not true. So where is this 6 coming from? 
So this 6 is coming from the sum of this or the sum of this or the sum of this or the sum of this. So in this way you arrive at 6 which in this case is going to be the sum of 5 and 1 and you write it here and in this way you have computed the score for this position. So once you have filled up the entire matrix you are ready for the next step. So to summarize the filling of the matrix you need to consider four different positions the position at the left, the position at the bottom, the position in the diagonal as well as the rows beyond the bottom and the left elements. In this way you can cater for all the possible nucleotide couplings and therefore arrive at the scoring matrix.